Pretty lots for life here bringing us a brand new video. I know I am late to the party with this one, but I'm kind of happy I am because we got a new support card that like fixes a lot of the issues that people had with this archetype. Not all of them, but it fixes a lot of them. Um, my god, I, I love this deck. Okay, I, I'm just going to be fully upfront and honest. I love this deck. I have been sucked down the VTuber rabbit hole recently um, with the uh, viral... Uh, what was it? Pika me and Tomoshika uh, Let's Kill the Hole video. <laughs> and now I'm, now I'm like watching so many of them. It, it's a, it's just something super, super, super funny and nice. And I love it <laughs> with all of them. Uh, so getting a VTuber archetype uh, is at the same time is just kind of like an extra cherry on top. And even as like an extra bonus bonus the the main deck monsters at least the the vtuber ones they, their art style is super reminiscent of panty and stocking with garter belt which is one of the best hilarious animes i have ever seen watch it it's got a great dub very very adult so just keep that in mind it's very raunchy anyway so the Live Twin, Evil Twins, or the Kisa Kill and Leela's, as I'm mainly going to refer them to, because uh, that's like the only consistent thing with them is the names, Kisa Kill and Leela. Um, <laughs> this is so cool. I love this archetype. So, Live Twin, Kisa Kill, level 2, Light Cybers Effect Monster, 500 tag, 0 defense. If it's normal summon or special summon and you control no other monsters, you can special summon one Lila monster from your hand or deck. And then each time your opponent's monster declares an attack, you gain 500 life points. Lila does the same thing, except she summons Kisa Kill and makes your opponent pay 500 in order to declare an attack, and she's dark, but she's still a Cyrus. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're, they're good starters, but that's about all that it got going for them. And considering that they're twins. And we got these two, and then the boss monster who's in the main deck. <clears throat> there's not really much else in terms of the main deck monsters. Actually, there's nothing else right now. There's not much they can do, although I do have a theory on that. And we'll get to that whenever we get to some of the support cards. Because I do see how they have future-proofed this in that you can summon any Lila monster or any Kisa Kill monster. We could totally get more Lila or Kisa Kill monsters. And I really hope we do, because the deck needs it. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I can't decide which one I like more in terms of art. Kisa Kill's super adorable, but so is uh, Lila. But anyway, so next up we got Evil Twin Kisa Kill and Evil Twin Lila. Uh, so Evil Twin Kisa Kill is a light Cybers, uh, sorry, not Cybers Fiend, <clears throat> which makes sense because you know the VTuber avatars are Cybers, but the real ones are Fiends. Um, points right and bottom needs two monsters, including a Kisa Kill monster. You know, use each of her effects once per turn. If this card is special summon, you control a Lila monster, you can draw a card. During the main phase, you control no Lila monsters, you can special summon a Lila from your graveyard, but you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of this turn except fiends. Which is okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. It does lock you out of making access code talker with the two, which does suck, but hey, whatever. Um, you can still make Unchained Abomination and, uh, oh god, what was the other one? Uh, Nightmare Griffin. Uh, which is also pretty good. Not as good as Access Code Talker, but still good. Um, so draw card effect is really nice. And then you got Evil Twin Lila, who's the opposite. Points left and bottom. Uh, needs two monsters, including a Lila. If this card is special, you can control a Kisa Kill. You can target a card on the field, destroy it. During the main phase, you can control no Kisa Kill monsters. You can special summon one Kisa Kill monster from your graveyard, but you cannot special monsters from the extract except for Fiends. And so, you can kind of see what the whole goal is. You summon out one of these two, summon the other, then you make them, you make either Kisako or Lila, then you use Kisako or Lila's effect to bring out the opposite from the graveyard, link into the other one in the extract, and then use that other one's in the extract to bring back the other evil twin from the graveyard to get her on summon effect. <clears throat> whether that be the draw effect for Kisa Kill or the destruction effect of Lila. My only issue with these two... <clears throat> right off the bat, sorry, my throat does not want to clear up, <clears throat> is that these are not quick effects in the battle phase, uh, which would make the field spell make more sense. And if you've seen the series by now, you, you, you know why that doesn't really make any sense. Because imagine, so the field spell, you contribute one of your uh, Kisa Kill or Lila's to negate an attack. Well, okay, so you tribute your Lila during the battle phase, and then you use Kisa Kill's effect to bring her back, and then Lila effect pop a monster. 
I don't know why you, why would they not do that? This deck, I'm going to be fully up front. If they had just, like, a few extra words here and there on some of the cards, like if these were during the battle phase or main phase, um, that would be a lot better. And we'll get to the other ones, too, because there's a few others that really, really could have been a lot better. Uh, like, for instance, their boss monster, Evil Twins, Kisa Kill Lila. Uh, level 8 Dark Fiend, Effect Monster, 2200 Attack, 2200 Defense. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be spell summoned from your hand by tributing two Link Monsters. Uh, you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is spell summoned and you can make your opponent send cards, they control to the graveyard until they control two. You know, it, it makes sense because there's two monsters in this arc, in, in, in the, uh card so it's you know basically evening it out um gains 2200 attack and defense while there's a kisa kill and a lila in your graveyard now this card is okay it could have been a lot better though if her summoning clause was a quick effect okay so imagine this you make your kisa kill your lila you get your draw and then you set a few cards and turn okay opponent goes off on their thing okay quick effect kisa kill lila tribute my kisa kill and lila spell summon her Okay, now everything you were just summoning before you make your Palooza or whatever, you know, get sent to the graveyard and you know, you're stuck with two. Um, and I got a 4400 beat stick. I also really wish that if uh, she was destroyed, you could get like a bonus effect. Like, oh, if Kisa Kill Lila is destroyed, you can target a Lila and a Kisa Kill monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. That would have been a lot better. If they would have just made this a quick effect and give her a destruction clause to bring out a Kisa Kill and Lila from Grave this card would be so much better. It would go from being an okay boss monster to being an amazing one. But we don't get that, because Konami just doesn't want their waifus to be amazing, apparently. I mean, heck, Dragon Maids have the same issue. They're okay, but they aren't good. Um, this deck is also going to have that same issue. Um, uh, loving the artwork, though. Oh, darn it. I accidentally clicked. There we go. So, moving on, we got Live Twin Entrance. I, I love this artwork. They're literally telling you to just subscribe to their channel. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine if, like, Konami actually, like, made a Kisa Kill Lila YouTube channel and it was just all promotion for the archetype. I would love it to death. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, this is just adorable. They're telling you to subscribe. But speaking of, by the way, if you happen to like this video, rate, comment, and subscribe, please. It, it goes a long way, especially since you got to recover from four weeks of doing nothing. Because that's that I was an idiot. Anyway, so <clears throat> quick play spell card, live twin entrance. You can only activate one of this card's name per turn. Discard a card, spell summon a Kisa Kill or a Lila monster from your deck, but you cannot spell summon monsters from your extract for the rest of this turn after discard or resolves, except an evil twin monster. Well, except evil twin monsters, I should say. So yeah, lacks in the evil twins, which isn't the greatest. I really, really wish we could have gotten an evil twin extract boss monster, like a Link 4 or something. Because right now, what you're working towards isn't the greatest, but eh, still a good card. Will probably be played as two to three or something, um, depending on the build. Um, and hey, you can use your evil twin, uh, your live twins for other stuff, and then make that, and you know, be able to just kind of go off. Anyway, so next up, we got live twin channel, their field spell, and it's their YouTube channel. <laughs> so this is where my theory about how we can get more Kisa Kill and Lila monsters kind of comes in. If you look at their YouTube channel page here, and by the way, the thumbnails, they really nailed the VTuber um, thumbnail aesthetic. If you've ever, like, if you ever go into, like, a VTuber channel, like, uh, Pikami, or, um, Kizuna Ai, or, uh, uh, Corone, or whatever, um, the, 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 <laughs> the thumbnails look so much like this. It's kind of funny, um... Oh, God. So, anyways, if you look down here, though, you'll see them dressed up in, like, Halloween costumes or something. And it looks like they're pulling a prank on Ghost Ogre here. Uh, so, my idea on how they can kind of get around the fact that they only have two monsters in, like, the archetype is any future versions could be, like, uh, ha like basically, um, uh, like, holiday-themed. Like, oh, it's their avatars whenever they're doing Christmas stuff, or their avatars whenever they're doing Halloween stuff, so on and so forth. I don't know, that's just something how they can kind of do it. Now onto the field spell. And this is a very lackluster field spell for going into 2020. I'm going to be 100% honest, okay? Uh, you can only use this card's name, uh, one, this, the, each effect of this card's name once per turn. When a monster declares an attack, you contribute a case to kill or lie the monster and negate that attack. Okay. Why does this not say, and end the battle phase here? That's what, four extra words, and end the battle phase. Five extra words. 
how hard would it have been to do that? Okay, end the battle phase, force it into main phase 2, effective Lila, special ring, Kisa kill from graveyard, draw a card. Or effective key, uh, Kisa kill, special ring, Lila from graveyard during main phase, pop a monster. How hard would it have been? <laughs> you just type out five extra words there. Uh, oh well, whatever. During each end phase, you can target a Kisa Killer or Lila monster in your graveyard to shuffle it into the deck. Or, if you can turn all monsters, you can add it to your hand instead. Uh, it's just kind of okay. Monster recursion in the field spell. The fact it's during any end phase is really nice, but it's just so slow that there's not really much of a point to it. Like, really, honestly, you're better off just playing, like, Pot of, uh, Pot of Avarice, which is actually really good in this deck, I'm going to be 100% honest. honest. Um, well, I'm always 100% honest. I don't know why I'm saying that all the time lately, but, oh, well, whatever. Um, so, yeah, this field spell, I personally like it just for the novelty of it being their YouTube channel. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's not the greatest. It, it really could have been better. Like, any kind of protection or searching or something that would have been the main effect of this card would have been really cool. And then these two would make extra bonus effects, but... Uh, you know, like, great bonus effects. Like, if this card on activation searched out a live twin monster from your deck, hey, you know. <laughs> and then on top of that, oh, you can tribute to negate an attack? Cool. And you can also recur stuff? Cool. But this thing's only got two effects, and neither one of them are really impactful enough to be even relevant. So, due to that, this card might not even see play in, like, uh, serious attempts to make this into a meta deck, which I don't think is going to work out, but... A hey, whatever it's it's a it's a field spell. <laughs> Next up, we got Evil Twin Challenge. That's something else I really like about this. Um, the spells are called Live Twin stuff, or or, or like the, you know their YouTube channel, and the traps are them doing their Evil Twin stuff, which is really cool. There's an extra little bit of uh, consistency there. I like so Evil Twin Challenge. You can only activate one card of this card's name per turn. Target a Kisa Killer Lila in your graveyard. Spell summon it, and then immediately after this effect resolves, you can link summon one Evil Twin Link Monster using monsters you control. Pretty cool. It's Monster Born plus a Link Summon. You can do stuff during your opponent's turn to make shenanigans. I like it. Uh, Evil Twin, easy game. Continuous Trap card. You can only use one of this card's effects per turn. And it's a hard once per turn. It's not like you can have multiple and do one or the other and both. So you can tribute one Kisa Killer Lila monster to activate one of these effects. Target a Kisa Killer Lila you control, it gains attack equal to the tribute to monster's original attack until the end of its turn. And when a card or effect is activated, it will destroy a card on the field and negate that effect. The main one you're using with this is the second effect, but even then it's not the greatest. I mean, it just negates the effect, doesn't destroy it. So if like your opponent used something like Scrap Dragon, they're keeping their Scrap Dragon. Um, but hey, you get to negate the effect of that Scrap Dragon at least. Um... Actually, in that situation, it's probably better because Scrap Dragon would be a monster born for something in Graveyard, but oh well. Next up, we got Evil Twin Present, and this is the final card for this announcement, but we do have one more. Uh, so, Evil Twin Present, normal trap card. You can only activate one card of this card's name per turn. If you control a Kisa Kill monster and a Lila monster, you can activate one of these effects. Target a Kisa Kill or a Lila monster you control, and one face up monster your opponent controls. Switch control of those two monsters. Or target a spell, a set spell or trap card your opponent controls, shuffle it in a deck. So it's either a monster, uh, sorry, creature swap or a, uh, well, it's basically a spin back. Uh, now what is really cool is that they are seemingly hinting for possibly more evil twin stuff. Because if you look at these artworks, um, do, 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 and compare it to the originals, like the ones that we actually got, they're in completely different outfits here like or at least they look like they're in completely different outfits uh definitely kisa kill here is in a different outfit lila looks like she's in a different outfit but not as much actually no yeah she's definitely in a different outfit as well and then also you got over here where they're in like their spy suits before they go out and like get fully suited up so again there's even more ways where we can get more evil twin uh live twin stuff uh by like just having them in different like I realize it's all just basically them in different states of dress, but let's be honest, there's not much you can do when your monsters in the archetype are all twins, uh, well, are twins, unless, like, they introduce more evil twins or something, I don't know. Um, anyways, moving on, we got their newest support card, which was announced today, alongside the Thunder Dragon stuff, well, I mean, the Arm Dragon Thunder stuff. So, this is Secret Passphrase, which is interesting, I wonder if this is gonna, like, allude to them 
because th this kind of reminds me, because it looks like you're like entering a secret passphrase to send a mail to them or something. So I wonder what's up with that. <clears throat> so it's a normal spell. You can only activate one card to discard its name per turn. Add one live twin or evil twin spell trap from your deck to your hand. Or if you control a Kisa Kill monster and a Lila monster, you can add one evil twin monster from your uh, instead. Now, right now, the only evil twin monster in the main deck that we have is the Kisa Kill Lila, but it does uh, future proof this card by allowing it to be able to search out any future ones that get announced as well. So, this is really, really cool. I like it a lot. Just kind of fixes a lot of the issues that people had with the deck initially and that there was no searching. Like, whenever we got the first, like, announcement of everything, there was no way to search out anything, and that, um, was not good. So, this being a searcher that just flat out searches anything in the deck is really, really nice. It doesn't search out the monsters, but hey, the monsters are cyber, so we got, uh, sign up mining for that. So, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> then there's a new Magistus card. <laughs> Magistus Flame Sora. Uh, fire spellcaster tuner effect level four attack. They did not list his attack. His attack and defense are both fifteen hundred. Um, you can only use each of its effects once per turn. You can target a magicist monster you control. Equip one magicist monster from your deck to it. If this card becomes a equipped equi with a magicist monster card, you can spell summon a level four spellcaster from your hand or graveyard. Accept a copy of himself and negate its effects. He's pretty good. Um, he's the. Uh, he's the. Uh, younger version of, um, oh god, what was his name? He's, a uh, Flame Lord. Flame, come on, really? Flame Lord. Yeah, Legendary Flame Lord, <laughs> which is really cool. Uh, you can even kind of see it better in Incandescent Ordeal, but I like that a lot, um, that they're referencing, like, one of the original, like, ritual monsters, uh, that had, like, an effect. <laughs> Um, there was a new Drytron monster as well, but I couldn't find the article. He's pretty cool as well, just basically, uh, destroys the back row and stuff. Then there's also a new Greffer, Chaos Greffer. He's a V-Jump promo in Japan. Yeah, level 4 Light Warrior effect, 1700 attack, 1600 defense. While he's face up on the field, this card is also a dark attribute, and you can only use a second effect once per turn. You can discard a light or dark monster, send a light or dark monster of a different attribute from your deck to the graveyard, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot spell some monsters with the same name as that sent monster. So, pretty cool for uh, Chaos decks, uh, gonna really help out load up the graveyard, but not much else to really uh, say about it. So, that's my overall thoughts on these. I like the Keys to Kill Lila's. Right now, they're just not really there as a meta deck, but they are really cool as a fun little um, uh, rogue deck. I don't think there'll be anything more than that, though. But, hey, what do you guys think? Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and see you all later. Peace out. Thank you all for watching the video. Have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you all later.